All right, well, we are on the way to Northumbria to try and figure that all out. Moving up on money. That's all right. That works. What's that? What, what's that? What, what is that? What is that? Just kidding. All right. Heading up, heading up, heading up, heading up, heading up, heading up, 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 up. That's a local rebellion. Not concern us. Maybe it does. Who knows? Heading up, heading up, heading up. Gonna go to Odin's cave. Hmm. Uh, 81. Leave it there. I don't want to have this crash. Because I'm trying to do some stuff in the background while I record this. And we'll see if it makes the game crash this game's no offense this game I love this game so far but uh it's pretty buggy when it comes to stuff like if you alt tab it'll close always it's not like a kind of it's like always so don't do that the more you know all right we're heading up on Odin's cave and we will see the smell of the sea is pervasive in this area, and the rumble of waves crashing around the cliffs resonates in your head like thunder. There is a path, very narrow, at the end of a beach, where you distinguish traces of men. It is a difficult way that only you can follow on your own, so you order your people to wait behind while you investigate. Doesn't sound good. Approach. Only I can look, that's why Bodo's with me. Alright. Mouth of a rock opens before you. All around is cold stone. You behold graven marks in the language. Sorry, hopefully you guys could have caught that. I didn't quite catch it all. Can't read out loud that fast. You feel the tension with every step you take. That's... Makes me nervous. Keep heading up. As you advance, you find there is light inside. It seems this place is not as deserted as you thought. Free boat? Just kidding. Oop. Nothing. Oop. Oh, I'm hearing. That was our guy. Come on, Bodo. Show him what you're worth, buddy. Oh, fuck. That's a husk car. Headshot. Photo. Air archers. Die. Oof. Trying to jab me in the face, huh? Photo fell. Get off me, dude. Why is there a priest fighting? Who many to new fighting, huh? All right, but you still standing? That makes sense. I'm so tired. I can barely move a muscle. This guy is very exhausted. I heard a heartbeat going. I thought that was in my head. I was freaking out, but it was all the levels on the audio going. I was like, oh, thank God, it's not actually me. Sweet another husk girl. I got this. I got this. Use my berserker rate. Oh fuck. Get a hit on him. Nice. Got him. Got him. How to use the rage while I have it. The body of At Lee Erickson, formerly second of man. Oh, that was not enough time. The Danish Natalie have been dealt with. Talk to Bodo. Him. Here's Bodo. My lord, you have retrieved the letter. Damn, these Vikings have broken the seal. Fortunately, the letter of the Valfenzo was encrypted. I hope the Vikings are not able to solve the mystery. You don't know how to read, so you can't understand it. Give the letter, letter to Bodo. The trick is to read the first word after each period 
in the first three lines of each paragraph and read the last words before the period in the following. I, I trust you. Alfonso became <clears throat> king very recently after inheriting the throne of his father. He explains at the beginning of this letter that he respects the north and continues the covenants of his father. He sends a messenger to Wessex, me, and another to Francia. The North Sea, he says, should be made safe and the Vikings eradicated. Wessex is the best place from which to do this, given its proximity to Denmark. Get to the point, Bodo. The letter says that according to what was promised by his father, Al Defonso agrees to send 20 ships and 600 men, holy shit, to Wessex. <clears throat> the men are all veterans of the Muslim Wars, fully equipped with chain mail, sword, spear, and shield. These men joining Wessex with the contributions from Francia will cleanse the Sea of Vikings. The letter details the route and the ports these men will use on their journey to Wessex and asks the very noble king, Arathorod of the Sex Sexena, to prepare accommodation and food for them. Do you see the importance of this letter and why Sigurd Bragnason or any Viking leader for that matter would want to intercept it? I'd rather you tell me. Figure that 600 veteran men from each kingdom make 1,800 soldiers whose sole purpose is to finish the Vikings. We're not talking about a peasant levy, but about professional warriors, well-trained and well-equipped. This is a huge economic burden for any one kingdom, but if they were all well-led, King Ethered Led's brother, Alfred, was chosen for this. It could, be, it could free the North Sea of the tempest that now whips it. Therefore, the letter is important to, to my mission to Sigurd Ragnarsson, made every, effort, made every effort to intercept it. If he can show the letter in the assembly, and so demonstrate the danger that it portends for all of them, the assembly will make him king with the mission of preventing this alliance. Jesus. A lot of words. No offense. To me, I don't know, it's just me, but... 1,800 soldiers doesn't seem like a force to that would change the tide of an entire thing i just i don't know maybe it's a lot for the time maybe it's scaled down for the game i don't know to me it just seems like a little bit not a lot okay um then i will give the letter to king horik yep if you give this letter to king horik or any other norseman he will use it to gain power and then destroy all that my kings have fought over the years i understand that your concerns are now the assembly and your mother I'll help you with you that help you with that now. Later we'll discuss the letter again. He rejected it. Fine, we'll talk about the letter later. Well, we will tell King Horik that the letter was destroyed during the fight with Atli Erikson, and he does not have to worry about Sigurd Snake and I using it in the assembly. This will ensure his support for your cause. Let's not waste any more time, but get out of this cave. Interesting. So Bodo is kind of a shady guy. Worth noting. On the side of, a ro of the road, a man is awaiting, sitting on a big rock. He is thin, tall, and dressed in poor clothing. He seems harmless enough. Calmly, the stranger waits until you come close to him. His eyes are searching through the faces of your men until they stop on you. Then he gets up and walks you. Talk to him. You sue, you sue. To your health, sir. My name is Agathinos. Are you by chance heading out of this place anytime soon? I am. What concern of it is yours, may I ask? Well, let me tell you. I am an engineer who specializes in the art of fortification. If you need a wall knocked down, I am your man. If you need a wall built back up, I am your man too. But that'll take a bit longer and cost a lot more. I'm also an unfortunate man. I am originally from Constantinopolis. I think that was almost good. Far away from here. Maybe you have heard of it. The Varangians call it Mikligard. A few years ago, a group of them kidnapped me and brought me there, to the far north. They made me a slave and sold me to the Jarl of Hordeland. I worked for him until a few days ago, when I finally earned enough money to buy my freedom. But after all the years that have passed since I was taken from Constantinopolis, I planned simply to stay in the home of the Jarl. The truth is that I had formed a relationship with his son. Okay. The Jarl did not like that and kicked me out. So what say you? 
I see you lead warriors. If you let me join you, I can help you when you have a siege. Are you not afraid of bandits on the road, traveling alone as you are? Yeah, I would never expect to see a Greek in Northfeger. I'd never expect to find a Norwegian in Constantinople. But they were there, busy taking me into slavery. I suppose I can use such help. Glad to hear that. I'd be happy to travel for a change. I'd like to know more about the north beyond this place. And you'll be glad to have me. Although siege work is my specialty, I reckon I can handle myself well enough in an open battle. As for besieging, I can truly help you take any place you might want. The fortresses here are rudimentary. They do not compare to the ones in my homeland. That works for me. I will be pleased to hire you. Good. Give me a few moments to prepare. Perfect. Getting buddies. Oh, I got too many men. You s Do you see that small side mountain there? It's horror to land. I don't have time to chat just now. That's 67, but I blow it up. <laughs> Gotta go back to Ribe. Heading back. All the way back. Gotta go get ready for the uh, sim the meeting, the council meeting. I can't remember the name of it. Not council, it's someone else. Continue. Oh, thieves. Would love a ship. Would love, love, love a ship. Please give me one. I think any time now it'll happen. And eat. Oh, what was that? I suck at this game. Oop. Idle leech. Fisher. Fisher. Ride. Leave. So. Okay. Hmm. The last. Nope. Nope. So it looks like I just need to work on bettering my relations. I know Ulf need to talk to him and ask him not to testify. Well, my men wanted to kill me after I hung out with him, so hopefully he uh, goes for it. Should, right? Hopefully. Okay, here we go to Ulf. It's dust, too. Oh, man, seriously. I only have 30 when you go there. Very rare. Just kidding. Okay. Not disband. Oh, my God. Take a look at the troops. You're getting 30 or less. Well, let's go up the list. I really care what it is, who they are. Get rid of them, my friend. Only need nine more. Spearmen. There we go. Got nine of them. There you go, bud. Eagle. Eve. Save. Andolf. Yeah? Mm. Good. Enter the farmstead. That's creepy. My boys are with me. Hello, Thora. Good to see you again. Eagle's gonna harass you. Ulf, my man. Octave, what are you doing here? Ulf, I want you to com I want to convince you to not testify against me. I prefer to talk about my daughter. Oh. She's pregnant with the illegitimate child of your companion, Eagle. A man without a future. You have dishonored my house and my daughter. I will present my case to the assembly. Fuck. Yeah, wear gold? There we go. It was an unfortunate incident. Let us agree on wear gold. Law in Denmark makes a distinction between if she was raped or voluntarily surrendered. It is also important to it is also important to know the difference in status. 
Anyway, if you want to avoid further problems and leave this man satisfied, give him 4,000 pennings. And he will deliver all his daughters to sleep with you. What? You may listen to silly eagle, sir. But it's true that with 4,000 pennings, Ulf will be more happy and will not testify against you. Oh, money. My favorite topic. This is where I come in. And who are you? He is a... He is Orm the Black, guest of old Thorinson and future owner of his farm and daughter. Oh, I am not in the habit of eavesdropping, but since everything related to this farmstead is now my business, I've decided to introduce myself and act. I don't know. I do not care who you are. This is a private matter. Go away. Oh, I don't think so. This farm and girl pregnant because of you will. This farm and girl pregnant because. This farm and the girl pregnant because of you will be my property tomorrow. So you will negotiate with me and not this old fool. Octave. My father has his pride, but we need your support. Orm Savakra is a berserker and a duelist. He is an evil person, but no one can stand up to him. He arrived shortly after you left and asked for my hand, which my father withheld. Then he challenged my father to a duel to the death. Orm will kill my father and then stay with me on the farm. My father is old and cannot deal with this man. Please be our second. This man is scum, my lord. He challenges old defenseless peasants in order to steal everything they have. First of all, he wants to make Ulf's daughter a slave. And who knows what will happen to the child in Thor's belly. Ignore them. You're lucky I'm here. Ulf will not testify against you in the assembly on account of his death. And the girl will not be your problem because I will take care of her and the rat within. Holy fuck. Since I like you. Oh yeah, I'm sure you do. I will give you half price. All you have to do is give me 2,000 pennies. What do you say? It's a deal. Ulf will be dead. I will pay 4,000 to Ulf. I'm not afraid. Yeah, I'm gonna fight. No, I'm not afraid. I hate injustice and must settle my debt. I will fight on Ulf's behalf. What's up, bitches? My lord, are you sure? Have you considered your relative height and your old wounds? This man is made for murder. No worse, he's a berserker. If he enters his trance, Octave, you won't have a chance. Eagle, fuck you, man. Ha, huh, no way to back out now. A word spoken is a word that cannot be returned. The gods bless you, Octave. We'll always be indebted to you. I did not expect this selfless reaction. I know that I do not stand a chance against Orm, so I'm very grateful. Whatever happens, know that I will not testify against you at the assembly. Whatever happens. Bagnerson will not like that much, but it's you that are here for me. What's more, I won't ask Weregold for my daughter. What you do makes up for any debt between us. Thank you. We are now at peace. <laughs> you are such an idiot. The better for me. I think everyone increased. Such heroes always end up occupying but six square feet of earth. If you so desire such a plot, your time has come. I'm only too happy to add all of your things to the farm and the girl. You move from the farm to a clearing where Ulf's thralls are preparing a ritual circle of stones that mark the boundary of the dueling arena. Around you, all of the men from the farm and your men form another circle to cheer you on. In front of you, Orm the Black warms his oversized muscles. Oh, goody. He seems confident. Perhaps given his spotless record of wins, he can't be said... He can't be said to be too... Confident. Oh, that's not a period. Of a period. Your companions give you pats on the back, advice, and wishes for good luck. All but Reginard, who is pessimistic and says he will record the ruins on your gravestone. Suddenly, Ego points towards Orum. The berserker has ceased to warm up his muscles. His body convulses uncontrollably, and his mouth foams white. Suddenly, he lifts his head and, looking at you with bloodshot eyes, shouts something unintelligible. He launches himself towards you like a viper, much more quickly than one would expect from a man. Such a large man. Here we go. Jump into the fray. Where's he at? Oh! Gonna be cheap, huh? Shoot jabbies at me, are you?
Whoa. Guy's huge. Oh, miss. Both of us missed. Damn it. Damn it. Gotta stay tight. Stop moving. Got him. Dead. The sword, the reach on the sword is just great. Sorry, buddy. Warm the black's corpse lies at your feet. Your arms are sore from blocking the brutality of his attacks, and your mind keeps replaying the more desperate moments of the duel. You wonder at the fury of Orm and his apparent immunity to pain. There's no doubt you're lucky, for you have just survived a fight with a berserker. Octave, thank you very much for saving my life, my farm, and my daughter, Thora. I wanted to reward you by giving you these treasures. Besides, these are the weapons of Orm's Orm. I think they should be yours. Thanks, Wolf. Your gifts are welcome. May the spinners of fate be benevolent to you. Nice. There is no doubt that your luck exceeds that of most other men. You, my friend, are destined to either, either for greatness or to give greatness to whoever kills you. You've beaten a notorious berserker. You have my respect and admiration. Oh, he's a piss poor leader. Yeah, fuck you, eagle bastard. Keep it going. Rebound. Oh, no. Duck. Shit. Why is the last shit? Oh, look. Yay. Yay. 